Have you ever heard of yokai? So yokai is the supernatural entity that exists in this world in Japan. And it is a kind of spirit and also narrative stories that has been passed from generation to generations. And last year in winter, I had a talk on this topic and I just thought, well, this is another thing that I could also share with you. It's not just about this supernatural entity and the storytelling that we have in Japan, but uh, go a bit deeper and why we have it and how, how we can actually use this kind of stories in our life. So in the Western world, probably you have fairies. Fairy is a kind of good spirit that it goes around us. And yokai is in a way naughty spirit, naughty fairy. So some of them has a very scary meanings and some scary story that I was brought up and some are quite humorous. And Mizuki Shigeru, he was one of the most famous cartoonist and storytellers and writer. And he popularized yokai in a comical way as a, as a comic. So this is encyclopedia that he made and this is actually for my son that I bought when he was a child. And there's one, for example, um, this yokai exists every part of Japan and with like mythology in a way. And one of the yokai that I like to share is like, it's called yukiona, means snow woman in the mountain, we have some quite heavy snow. So you can just imagine in the old days when we didn't have electricity, it's all dark and heavy snow and snow can take our life. So it was something really, really fearful and white and snow that is also beautiful, but also something really takes our life. So the white snow, in Japan in all the time, it's represented the fear and the beauty together. And there was a story born, the lady with long black hair and white skin with white kimono garment, she appears on this stormy snow night and come to stay with you or come to ask to stay. And she is um, very cold, she, her body is very cold and she takes men's life when men meet her. So it is, it has been, the, the story has been passed over from generation to generation. And the, uh, so that's also, this represents the fear. Probably maybe there was a lady, maybe a man got heartbroken from a beautiful lady with a white, uh, white uh, beautiful um, kimono or with long hair and and then there was the, the story became like this quite fearful um, figure um, but also by when we are fearful especially women can say I can say well I'm so scared and you know like if I were in the darkness I'm scared and I can tell my fear, I can share. But for men, I think it is quite difficult to admit when you are scared or fearful. So then by sharing, especially like in the old days, like 500 years ago, if you are living in a community and when men get together, start talking about you know, like the, the fear, but their fear can be shared with these stories. You know, like for example, in the dark snow night, oh, you know, that, that it, it looks like the day that we have Yukiona, the snow woman. And we can, they can talk about it, they can share their fear. So it, it has been kind of emotional uh, out, uh, outlet to talk about something fearful and the ghost stories. And this is not really a ghost. It has a kind of character as well. So it was really Japanese tribe community and the story which was shared. So it's a bit like mythology as well. 
and this still exists. And there are also some funny characters as well. So I don't know how many in total we have, but uh, it has been shared in different parts of Japan and it is quite interesting uh, to find out about what kind of yokai we have. But from the psychological point of view, this is again, as I mentioned, it's, it's in a way, it's also made me think when I'm scared, how can I share this fear? And also there is a yokai about money as well. So like when we are really in the bottom of fear, in the abyss of fear, then we can also kind of link to these, for example, in Japan, yokai figures, which represent our fear with more in a humorous way. So we can actually take, we can actually observe our feeling, emotion from the distance. Yeah, this, I could say, in a way, yokai, the supernatural entity, is the archetype of our fear. So if you are interested in, this is something that you can actually explore a little bit. Thank you for listening. If you like to know more about what I talk, uh, please subscribe to my newsletters. Thank you and see you next time.